Hey guys, so we had a lot of um, feedback about our pork belly that we cooked the other week and had a lot of questions about how we made it. So I thought we would make a quick video on how to make the pork belly. Um, we use a Kmart air fryer, which I'll show you later on in the video. Um, so first of all, you need a pork belly. We get ours from butchers, Coles, Woolies. The other way you can do it is with pork rushes as well. Um, it cuts down how long you need to cook for but it's really dependent on what you want to cook. All right, first of all, just simple, cut it out. You want to have a sharp knife because pork belly is quite tough. The skin itself is quite tough. Um, once you've got the pork belly out of the skin, just grab some paper towel and give it a dry. This just tries to get rid of some of the moisture. The uh, less moisture, better crackle you're going to have. All right, and then what you want to do is cut your pork belly. Now you want to cut it down to, through the rind, uh, down to just above the meat there. Um, just And just revealing that meat section a little bit. All right, so cutting through. Sometimes it helps if the pork belly is still that little bit um, solid or frozen. If you've just defrosted it type thing, it helps cutting it that just that little bit easier. All right, so once you've got your slices down the middle, you actually just want to turn it. I just have it on chopping board and turn the chopping board. And you want to cut again, just in the sort of size bites that you want to have. Again, down to sort of to that meat layer there. I find it easier to cut it in sections um, and then flip it and turn the other way. Alright, so we've done that now. We've got all our cubes. You can see uh, they're all separated. Try and give them a little bit of separation between them because you want your salt to be able to go down in between it. Once that's all done, grab your salt and you want to salt it as much as you want or as much as you like over the top of it. Try and get it down into those grooves as well because that's going to help the um, moisture come out more as well. So depending on what type of how you want to cook it, whether you cook it in the oven or the air fryer, um, you want to then place it on whatever. So if you're cooking in the oven, pop it on a tray. Um, we cook in the air fryer and we have the 3-in-1 Kmart air fryer so we use the trays now I love these trays because it actually helps drain all the oil off the pork belly um, and it catches it in the base and it just makes it a little, little bit more healthier not that pork belly is all that healthy um, so just transfer it to your rack right now you want to heat up your air fryer now I like to preheat ours um, and if you have an oven preheating it is best so with the air fryers um, I turn it on to 200 and I just pop it on for 15 minutes, just enough to preheat it just a little bit. It only takes a couple of minutes with these air fryers to preheat. Um, and then you just pop your tray in. All right, so we've let this preheat for a couple minutes now. We'll open it. Now, if you have one of these air fryers, I highly suggest putting the tray in the bottom. It helps collect all the oil that drips um, and just helps keep your air fryer a little bit cleaner. So you can see if now um, there's actually little bits of moisture coming up on the pork belly itself, which is really good for that crackle. Um, what you can do is pat it off, get rid of all that extra moisture. As I said, it works better for your pork belly, um, and then pop it in. Right, pop her in. Shut your lid. Now I just turn it up to about 40 minutes which should be more than enough um, to let her cook. Obviously checking a little bit throughout just to see how it's going and then go from there. All right, so let's do a halfway check. Turn our light on. Have a look at that. Mm, that's crackling so well. She's looking good, I can't wait to eat it. Yep, she is done. Well, the first step's done. You can see that crackle, 
It's all nice and cooked. I let it sit there for a couple of seconds just to drip some of the excess oil off it and then we'll get her out. Right, so once we've got it out of the air fryer, pop it back on a chopping board and we actually want to cut through these pieces. And this is how we're going to get the bites. And we're going to cut back through. Now, once you cut your little pieces out, pop them back on the tray. Or back into your air fryer, or back on your oven tray, or however you're cooking it. Because we're actually going to put them back in for a short period of time. And this crisps them up and makes that bite effect. Now, as you can see, I'm just cutting a few of these bigger pieces up because they just get a bit bulky. Um, with your pork belly, some of them you'll get that are just really thick uh, meat with only a little bit of crackle and some you'll have lots of crackle and barely any meat. So just try and find whichever one you think is good. I tend to go for uh, more meat, less crackle because the crackle itself clumps up really well. So as you can see, we've now got all our little bites, bite sized pieces. We're going to pop them back in the air fryer for about 10 minutes at the 200 as well and they'll come out nice and crispy. So as you can see it's all done, all ready to go. Um, so you just pop it in your bowl and she's good to eat. So thanks for watching guys. I hope I've given you enough tips and tricks on how to make some good pork belly. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll happily answer as much as I can. Thanks!